the fellow that I got this from said that this is either a 440 or a 480 Polaris. His name is Dave. Dave, thank you. You are freaking awesome. You got me giddy like a schoolgirl here. So I guess this is, which one is this? I think he said this one was air-cooled. Yes. So we got air-cooled. Um, it is a pull start, I believe. He said there is an option that you can get to make it a key start, but I mean, whatever. Uh, but it does. I don't know if you can hear the thud, 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 thud. Da, 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 da. So it does turn over. It may need some TLC. Obviously, it needs some TLC. Um, but I am basically going to cut this guy off Oop, right there. Take that whole engine and set it where those steering, the uh, whatever, what is that called? Handlebars. Duh. Seat's going to come off. This is probably going to stay. Um, this is a longer track than you end up seeing normally. Uh, excuse the sawdust. That is from another project. Um, but the back part from this wheel to this wheel has its own articulation. There is a like a, a spring inside of here that allows this back part here to, to do this thing when you're going through the snow. I thought that was really cool. Um, I am... I'm going to tear into this thing. I want to know what in the world I'm getting into. Because um, this is a little beyond what I'm used to. But that's okay. Because we're going to do this until it's done. So, I'm going to tear into this bugger. And I will keep you updated along the way. The guy who gave me this um, instructed, Dave, instructed me that he's willing to give. He gave this to me for free. That's free 99. That's free 50 free. Just so long as I take a video or keep track of how it's all done. And then he wants to know how I did it. So I talked to him and he said that. And I said, okay, I'll do it for free. Yes, please. So I'm going to do that. This beautiful beast of a machine. I freaking love it. So many people that I've told about this is, why didn't you just leave it a snowmobile? I'm sure everybody that's watching right now is probably thinking the same thing. But the truth is, the fellow I got it from, Dave, said that he would donate this to me if I showed him how I made a track sled. And truth is, I don't really know how to make a track sled. <laughs> Shoot, honestly. Uh, there are so many people out there on the YouTube world that have, have influenced this. I mean, uh, grind hard. Um, well, there's if you look up just track sled, you'll see a ton of them, a ton of them. And I've probably seen every one of them. The one that sticks out the most is the one that grind hard did. They turned a kind of a motorcycle into something with tracks on it that you stood on top of like a scooter. It was just the coolest freaking thing, um, which honestly I might end up doing with this eventually. But for now, I want to make a track sled because I want proof of concept. So that's where I'm at. Um, today I'm going to be figuring out the, the position of this motor, but on this side. I, I want to set the majority of the weight on there I don't know if I mentioned it or not but that that whole horn this whole section here this valley whatever you call this pan here I don't even know what the heck the name of it is but that that's all going away I'm gonna cut basically I'm gonna cut this off right here take the motor put it over here and everything else is gone these are all gonna be gone cut off completely cleaned up and both sides of course and then I'm going to take off this bracket here and set the motor on top of that and figure out where I'm at. I'm going to do three quarter inch tubing down the sides. I get a buddy who's a pretty darn good welder and he's going to hook me up with everything that I need to get this rack done. 
going to weld it all up for me. He said, you figure out where you want the stuff and I'll put it there. He's even donating the material. So basically this whole build is so far has been pure donation, um, which is incredible. I can't believe any of this is happening right now. It's, I don't deserve any of this. That's for sure. So uh, I'm going to figure out the positioning of that. Like I said, sorry, I went off on that rant, rant over, I'm going to figure out my wiring, where all that's going to have to be. Uh, tie down whether or not I can actually eliminate this oil reserve. Uh, check this out. There's a little hose that comes out of the back. Goes down in through there and goes right there into the bottom of the engine. It attaches to the bottom of the engine. And when I hit the throttle, let's see if I can do this here. Wrong one. There it is, look at that. So where the oil goes in, which is that little hose that's moving, it's like a little throttle body down there, or carburetor, whatever you call that. From the little bit of research that I've done, it's actually like an oil injector. Never heard of that before, but I'm doing this completely green, so I'm sure there's gonna be a lot that I just don't know. So uh, anybody out there in the YouTube world of wisdom that has any kind of input on this, please feel free to throw in ideas or comments or whatever you think, because I've got an idea what I want to do. Like I said, I've seen other videos and I really like the look of some of them. Um, I think this thing is going to be cool. I've got really good bones here. The fellow who donated this is incredible. So I'm going to clean this up. I got some stuff from my local hardware store that I'm going to try out. This Linux blade is pretty darn good. It's got pretty lofty number, numbers here, but this, this says it cuts 30 times longer. I assume that's than those little chintzy, flimsy wheels. But this one says it's got a hundred times longer life. This one says 30 times longer, but a hundred? <sighs> we'll see about that. A couple of flap discs, uh, 60 grit, yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today, and uh, I'm back for that update. I cut off the foot rails, foot rests, whatever they're called, on both sides. That's now the profile. This thing right here has got a bunch of junk in it. Down in there, well, you see the weeds over there, and uh, this side. Uh, you're not gonna be able. To, there it is. It's got a bunch of dirt in it. So I'm gonna call my guy and get some parts. Probably, I don't know. I'll get in there and take it apart. See how bad it is. Might not be bad at all. <clears throat> Who knows? So I'll do that. I gotta move that still to there but I just ran out of time. So, this is gonna have to be the end of the video for now. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment below, anything you got. Um, any suggestions, please throw them at me. I've seen a few videos online, um, but I, there's some logistical stuff that I'm, I'm not 100% on, but I'm just kinda of diving in, and I got a really good guy that'll Show me the way if I can't figure it out, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to figure it out. We'll see. This will probably be the spot where I end up putting something in here on the bottom like I couldn't figure it out or I had to call in. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to screw this up, but I guess that's how we learn, right? So, yeah, uh, I got to go for now, and I'll be back at it tomorrow. Later.